Hello everyone, how y'all doing today? Welcome back to another video. Uh, have a pretty cool video today. Finally got my RBC and it is uncut for my Type S head. So we gotta cut it. And what else I'm doing? That was bad grammar, don't worry about that. But um, pretty much I'm gonna be like trimming it, if you would call it, or cleaning it up, basically just grinding off anything that is not necessary for the cause if that makes sense to y'all but yeah uh, what else am i doing um i think in this video also i'm gonna have it painted and i'm also gonna paint my valve cover because that's ready to be painted too so yeah let's get started okay so this is the rbc as you can tell it's pretty ugly I'm sorry if you hear my sister screaming. She, she she learned the word ow, so that's all she screams now. So yeah, this is it. Um, have a thermal gasket right here for the RBC. We use thermal gasket because it gives us some better temperatures for the air. But basically what we're cutting off is this whole section right here we do not need. So give me a second, I'm gonna take this out. So this is the thermal gasket. Um, if we take this and line it up over here, line this up, you can see how that part is just completely unnecessary. So basically, I'm going to just, like I said, chop that whole thing off. And besides chopping that off, I'm going to be cutting this, cutting this, cutting this, grinding this down. If we flip the manifold upside down. I'm gonna be getting rid of this stud right here. I'm gonna be grinding this down. And that's about it. I don't wanna to go too crazy. Maybe grind this, not too sure. I don't wanna go crazy like I just said. Um, definitely gotta clean this up before paint. I might delete this. I'm not a thousand percent sure yet, or I might just cap it off. I'll figure that out. Probably keep it just cause I'm lazy, but yeah let's get started on getting that drawn out on there as i cut it As you guys can see right here, all this is gonna be chopped off. So basically right now, I'm gonna get the angle grinder ready and just start cutting away at this. Okay, so I finally, ugh, this is hot. That's very hot, I'm not gonna touch it. Finally got the last, not, I'm not gonna say the last piece, big piece off. Um, as you, if you were able to tell in the time lapse, like I kind of just smacked it off with a hammer once I got like halfway through, just cause all the batteries to my angle grinder were, angle grinder were dying. I got three of them and they were dying. But yeah, why is, that's it. So, um, yeah, pretty much I just hammered the rest of it off. Now I gotta clean it up. Yo, my batteries are overheating like crazy. Oh man, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it, it's this aluminum, whatever the hell kind of aluminum this is made out of, killing the batteries, man, killing them. So, putting them back to charge now. Hopefully they charge nicely again but let me show you guys what i just did so this is the piece right here it's 
kind of hot, so I'm not gonna. Oh, wait, I have glove on. So, yeah, this is the piece. This is what it looks like on the inside. So, this is done <laughs> going in the trash. Actually, no, I lied. So, this is what it's looking like right now. A little rough, but pretty much I need to just cut up the rest of that. I need to finish doing the outline right there. And that'll pretty much be it for this section. I'm gonna try to grind it, get it nice and beautiful. And then that's when I'm gonna start doing these fat, ugly things. So I'm gonna wait for the battery to charge up a little bit. That way this doesn't kill itself. And then I'm gonna continue. So these protruding things all cut off. This one kind of cut it short or not short enough. Um, now I'm going to take the flap disc and the grinder and just clean all the cuts up now. I actually need to cut this one a little bit more because I have to cut it to the edge of the Sharpie. Not this edge, this edge. So got to do that now too. So this is where we at right now. This is, looks very rough and uneven, but I'm gonna get the grinder and go through that again. Not the flat disc. Uh, that one's gone too. Last one I need to do is this up here. And I think, oh yeah, I still haven't done this big part right here. Still gotta do that. Um, anything else I'm doing? Uh, no, that's basically it. Oh, there's this ugly one right here. Uh, doing that, this one right here. Get rid of that and probably try to knock down this line right here a little bit but yeah that's pretty much gonna be it for now not for the video not for the video but for now just because yo i just keep on rotating them and they keep on dying after like 20 seconds so like i'm just gonna leave them for the night to charge and uh kick back with this tomorrow after work so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow same video but i'll see you guys tomorrow yo what's good everyone new day just came home from work. Time to get some bullshit done. We gotta finish RBC right here. I'm also gonna redo one of the AN line fittings to make it shorter, just cause it's bothering me in the engine bay. I'll show you guys once I open up the hood and do that. I also fixed the fitment of the hood. You guys probably didn't know about that, but like, if you notice, I have hood struts on the car. And when I took the hood off to put the engine in and I put them back on, I put them on up, uh, upside down backwards whatever you want to say and basically that's why the hood wasn't sitting flush at all but i just realized that i fixed it so yeah there's that um that's the intro for right now so i'm gonna get started as y'all can see there's a fat gap right there no like that and that's where it sits so i'm gonna take it and just shorten it like that and basically just have them sitting together nicely i still need to get another fitting right there because the other one broke but yeah it'll sit nicer like this so i'm about to do that and along with the RBC. I also don't remember if I showed the RBC last night where it was, but this is where I'm at right now. Did the two long ones over here, and then to do this small one right here, and then finish that. And that's about it. Look his monkey. <laughs> so he's, he's redoing that. We cut it short. This is what the RBC. Yo, why is the flash on the phone on? But whatever. So, yo, you, you don't even know which side I cut. Well, you could tell right there, but yeah. You know, I did some polishing, not polishing, grinding, <laughs> getting rid of like edges and stuff that were kind of ugly. Um, Yeah, that's what that's looking like. Yo, you missed the whole casting line on this side. What are you doing, bro? Oh. You're gonna, if you're gonna take it off on this side, why don't you take it off on this? Come on, bro. I'll do that off camera. But yeah, that's how it's looking. Did you show them any of that? Yeah, oh, I, I was, uh, I mean, for the past, like, you know, today, I didn't show much because I was, it was just grinding the whole entire time. That's what I'm saying. Did you show them any of that? Yeah, yeah, yesterday. Oh. All the grinding I did yesterday was on time lapse and slow mo or whatever. Yeah, slow mo. Yo, so shut up. I know, what I'm, I know what I'm doing. I know what Michael I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Yo, but, man, we got Michael Bay out here. 
You have anybody wants to buy some off white fours and sell them for 80 bucks, let me know. What shipping? Uh, shipping, Fugazi shipping's included. Fugazi as hell. Yo, he messing with my rap, yo. Yo, I'm about to I rap cars now. Um, I'd say like $80 an hour for rap. Um, hit me up. Double M Munoz on IG. Uh, I do it all, man. Detailing, raps. Windows Anyways, in. enough about him. <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> RVC is done. Uh, I'm going to paint this tomorrow. And I'm also going to paint the valve cover tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for tonight. So, I'll pick up back tomorrow. Pick up back? Pick up back tomorrow. Up What's back. good, everyone? It's a new day. What's We're up? back out here doing stuff. Um, I'm with Julio and Ant right now. Right. Yo. Julio's doing his headliner. Stars on the roof. Um, I'm about to continue doing the RBC. It's actually time to paint it and get it finished. Um, I might put the adapter on it for the throttle body. I don't have the throttle body yet, so y'all won't see that now, but yeah, I'm gonna start cleaning this up and get it prepped for paint. Okay, as you guys saw, got this boy nice and prime. It kind of sucks though. You can see my grind marks, but I don't care enough to fix it or grind down the whole thing. But prime, nice, covered good. I'm excited to lay the paint down. Let me show you guys the color I'm doing. It's this color. It's a little sparkly. You can't really tell on camera, but yeah, I'm about to wait for this to dry for a little bit more and then spray this. Oh, also, I, did, I was going to do the valve cover at the same time, prime it, but I want to prep it more than I did. And I didn't film myself prepping this, but basically, if you watch my transmission video, I use earplugs to plug up the injector holes, taped off the throttle body place, and then taped that. I also made sure it was facing down just for extra protection. Um, taped off ports um, where the fuel rail is going to screw into, all that, you know, basic stuff. If you don't know how to tape off something, you shouldn't be painting it. So yeah, I'll go throw the other time lapse of me putting base coat. Okay, so this is what it's looking like right now. Just about done. I might do one more coat just off camera, but I am loving the way it looks. It looks super OEM plus, which I'm I'm rocking with. So I'm gonna do one like drop coat on it. That's pretty much gonna be it. I'm gonna let it sit and then throw on the adapter thing for the whatever it's called. I don't know what I'm talking about, but yeah, here it is. All right, so this is what it looks like. I have really crusty hardware right now because I didn't buy anything new yet. I'm gonna do that eventually if I remember or feel like it. But yeah, the adapter's on. Simple install, three bolts. Um, there's a gasket. That's about it. Looks sick. So it's spicy. Yeah. You about to run it with the red caps on for extra horsepower. Yes, sir. Um, if you guys didn't know that, you can get what, extra like 50? 50? I think 50, 55 on a good day. Uh-huh. 
What does the weather have to be like to make that kind of power? Uh, anything ab above 100 degrees. Uh, um, so and you're, you're nice boosting. Outside. Yeah, man. The you know, because that's how cars work. You know, the warmer the air, the better. So yeah. <laughs> Hotter, remember, if you if you have hot air going into the engine, you'll make more horsepower. Got it. All right, well, that's going to be the end of this vlog. Hope y'all enjoy the RBC process, which wasn't fun at all. But, yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, comment. Stay tuned for more. You can see some more of Ant. We're we not really bugging with him, but he's here sometimes. So, yeah, see y'all in the next one.